Good Monday. I'm Malia. Welcome to Monday Morning Jolt. Let's get started. Today with us is Lori Block Keys, and pretty soon it's going to change <laughs> to Wasabi Peanut. Right? Right. Wasabi Peanut. <laughs> oh, what about that? So, Lori does a lot of things. She's the executive director of the Fort Wayne Trails. Mm -hmm. And she's also a Zumba and dance instructor. Salsa. Right? Mm -hmm. Salsa. Mm -hmm. uh, and um, today we are going to talk about a very special project that she's doing. Right? So tell us a little, about, little bit about this project. Well, I decided on a whim to take on this project called One Billion Rising. Mm -hmm. uh, I happen to, I really respect Eve Ensler and I love her TED Talks, mm -hmm. you've seen them, yeah. uh, very inspiring and mm -hmm. I decided, I was kind of down one day at the beginning of December thinking about some, some women's issues and I thought if anyone will cheer me up it, it would be Eve Ensler mm -hmm. and so I, I turned on an interview with her and she was talking about all these different initiatives she's working on all over the world and at the very end of the interview she said so that's why this year on February 14th, which is what she's deemed V-Day, mm -hmm. uh, I'm asking one billion people mm -hmm. from all around the world to come together. We're going to take a stand and we're going to end violence against women and girls by dancing. Mm -hmm. And I just thought, you know, it was like someone hit the screech button and I just stopped in my tracks <laughs> and thought, what? Yeah. And I repeated it and uh, thought, well, that's something I can actually mm -hmm. do. That's something I do in my spare time is encourage people to get up and dance and so mm -hmm. if we can do that in service of mm -hmm. uh, this massively important issue around the globe then mm -hmm. I'm in. Yeah, so I want to emphasize something here Lori and you know the, the comments on your Facebook page one was like one person was saying like we just do these things it doesn't matter right yeah so like like it does matter any movement matters right it's, so, uh, talk, talk a little bit about to our audience, like, how they can participate and how much of a big impact that they would make. Well, this is about raising awareness, and, and one statistic that really struck me when, when we look at a women's issue like breast cancer, for mm -hmm. instance, breast cancer impacts one in eight women mm -hmm. around the world, uh, whereas an issue like violence and abuse impacts one in three women around mm -hmm. the world, and I think that's something that's you know, tends to be a quiet, kind of off to the side, well, well that affects them kind of issue. But, mm -hmm. but the truth is it affects all of us. One in three women, we all know someone who's been impacted by mm -hmm. violence. So uh, that's why it's really important to come together and raise awareness. And just what, what better activity for people to come together than, than something so primal and so healing and so liberating as dancing. Mm -hmm. um, so if, if we raise awareness for one more life, for 10 more lives, and they spread it to 10 more, that's success in this campaign. Mm -hmm. Can you tell us about the Fort Wayne Trails? Absolutely. Can you um, share that with us? Yes. I work for Fort Wayne Trails, a non-for-profit organization, and we were formed just two years ago through the merger of three non-for-profit organizations, and um, the trails in Fort Wayne are really a neat story. Yeah. We've, I've done research all over the the country and the world and a lot of times there's sort of a top-down initiative to build walking and biking infrastructure in a city um, but in Fort Wayne it was literally the, the groups of citizens and volunteers who lived here who started to grow the momentum for the trails and advocated and donated and volunteered and made the trail system happen so today we're a unified force um, as a non-for-profit organization we work really closely with our city and state government uh, to keep building out the trail system. But we have a total of 68 miles of trails oh, on the ground. I didn't realize there were that many. Uh, 68. And it's grown very quickly. Um, in, in 2012, we have infrared counters out on the trails, and in 2012, we documented over 480,000 visitors on our trail system. So our, our hope is that this really becomes part of the culture here. And I think we're seeing that now in, in the numbers of people who are using active means of transportation. And yeah, we just, we yeah. just have to get the food trucks to yes. the trails. Yes, <laughs> yes, yeah. we do. It's perfect. Yeah, then it'll be perfect. Uh-huh, and coffee yeah. carts. Yeah, coffee carts, yeah. I didn't realize you could track how many people were on yeah. them. Yeah. That's neat. Yeah. I like that. Can you tell us why Mondays are great? Why Mondays are great? Um, 
I think of Mondays kind of like a reset button, like a chance to, <laughs> you know, to rethink, okay, what's my purpose and, and what am I doing towards that? Mm -hmm. um, I usually try to schedule like a fun lunch or something at tomorrow night lunch with one of my favorite people in the city. And then uh, I'm really lucky because every Monday I get to uh, dance with my Zumba class after work. <laughs> <laughs> and so, so oh, I get to do that. I like your Monday. So, uh, it's pretty fun. So no matter what happens on Monday, I look forward to, yeah. to kind of jamming at the end of the day with, with 50 to 75 fabulous people. That, that sounds like fun. I'm going to join you. <laughs> and what do you do to kickstart your Mondays? I think I heard some of that in there, but... Uh, it, yeah, it, it kind of depends if, it, if I have a extra oomph in the morning, I'll, I'll do a little, like, there's this little Jillian Michaels video that I'm, that I love doing. It's only like 25 minutes long, and, and right at the end, in the, in the last set, she says one of my favorite quotes, which is, uh, you got to fight for it. You've yeah. got to fight for it. She's me. And she is. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. it, just, it always kind of reminds me to keep keep taking that next step. And I, I kind of have everything she says memorized. And so I, <laughs> I keep myself kind of, kind of pumped up that way when I can. So you've been around a lot of businesses, right? Mm -hmm. And then uh, tell us something, uh, an advice to business owners that are listening that's related to the, the Fort Wayne Trail? Gosh, well for business owners, I mean, we see data all over mm -hmm. the world that supporting something like active living, like mm -hmm. a safe walking and biking options, mm -hmm. um, that really boosts the economy, it boosts vitality, it boosts health and opportunity for everybody. Mm -hmm. um, so it's the type of investment that no matter what niche of the population you want to hit, mm -hmm. age, ability level, geographic area, yeah. um, you hit that niche mm -hmm. on the trail. So mm -hmm. it's a pretty amazing initiative mm -hmm. for businesses to get involved in. And, and we've seen a lot, a lot of corporate leaders set an example of that too. Very nice, very nice. Do you have an adage by which you live your life by? Um, probably two words come to mind. I would say authenticity and connection. Um, I really, I really believe in celebrating the uniqueness of everybody. Um, I believe everyone has certain gifts in them that nobody else has, and that and that deserve to come out not only for them but for the rest of the world to benefit. Um, and then not only that, but to also connect in healthy ways with each other, kind of a we're all in this together concept. I, I, I really like the connection one. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> so if you were to have a superpower, what would that be? How can I want to cheat on this question? I have always wanted to fly. Oh, okay. Um, but I really, with this whole celebrating uniqueness, I would love to kind of like have a wand or something and go up to people and ignite them, like oh. ignite their gifts. But you're already doing that. Gifts. Well, I'm, just, I'm working on it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so the movement has started. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I get to see it in, in my dance students. Yeah. <laughs> you yeah. see it on the trails, the people yeah. you wave so you at. So touch. So I mean, you yeah. don't have to like <laughs> wear, wear like a magic wand, right. but through words you can do. <laughs> That's true. That's true. Can you tell us something about you that would surprise people who know you? Oh, uh, well, um, I'm trying to use a chainsaw. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> that does surprise me. <laughs> it's a chainsaw. <laughs> I can't. I can't use one either. <laughs> I can't use one either. <laughs> um, yeah. I got to do that. Uh, that was my last nice job. Did you? What, what was your last job? Uh, I worked for the city of Indianapolis in the Greenways Division, and okay. we, we did a lot of environmental restoration projects, but we would take our chainsaws, especially in the winter because there were no, no leaves out, and we would kind of army crawl through all of this invasive <laughs> really? vegetation and cut it down, and then we would plant uh, I can do, I'm, I'm starting to visualize that. I'm here with the chainsaw. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you are the chainsaw, I'm just visualizing <laughs> I'm scared of those things. They are scared. They are scared. They are scared. Yeah. Protectors. Yeah, protectors. Yeah. So, 
<laughs> How do people get hold of you to do business with you and especially to help you with this um, new project, the one million women? Well, my main um, my email at Fort Wayne Trails is just my first name, mm -hmm. L O R I, mm -hmm. at fwtrails.org. Okay. Um, for One Billion Rising, um, we actually we are putting up a, a little website, but the main form of communication has been through Facebook. Mm -hmm. So we created a public event called One Billion Rising Fort Wayne, mm -hmm. and anyone can get on board with that, invite their friends, you know, share it, comment on it. Mm -hmm. So we would like to thank Lori for coming and joining us today. Thank we would like you. to thank you, the audience, for listening in. Thanks we so are recording much. at Founders Downtown. This is Monday Morning Jolt. Use it.